Hacker, hacker! Friday. Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. Happy Friday. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how long today. Today's show could be 30 minutes and today's show could be nine hours. I, I really don't know. I'm in a mood and, uh, you know, you got to get out of this four hour expectation. That's what I'm trying to. Today might be 22 minutes long. I, I might get out of here. I, 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 we got a members only show tonight. I really don't feel like hanging out with poor people. Um, and, you know, I got Kevin Brennan this morning. I'm waking up. I'm having a beautiful night. You know, it's the weather now where you can sleep with the windows open and it's cold. and it's. So I wake up, you know, enjoying my 9 a.m. time slot today. I'm like, I don't have to set an alarm. We'll roll out of bed. It'll be nice. I wake up to a message from Kevin Brennan. You're a pathetic piece of shit. No follow up. And I'm like, what's going on now? You know, like, and I'm like, I just woke up. What happened? No answer. And then I, you know, reply. Great talk, Brennan. I. Uh, today might be enough. Today might be the day where we have to sit Uncle Brennan down and be like, no one gives a fuck, old man, you piece of shit. you like, I mean, can we get a reality check and recalibrate this motherfucker? Like, no one knows who you are. Can we all calm the fuck down? Time out. I mean, we're in the most losery corner of the internet. Shut the fuck up. You're a pathetic piece of shit. About what? Talk, old man. Use your voice. <laughs> like, it's getting, you know, and then I'll see NAC and everything will be fine. We'll hug it out. Or not. Or one of us will push each other into the fucking wall and choke each other out. I don't know. But get it together, you old fuck. If you have something to say, say it. You know, this is the second or third time you sent me this passive aggressive, like, you're a big piece of shit. Ooh. 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 Neil know about that? Shut up. <laughs> what are you mad about? Everyone can't investigate me or speculate on my numbers at all, but I get to do it to everybody else. Shut up, you old fuck. <laughs> you take yourself way too seriously. I mean, it's, it's fucking crazy. I mean, this is nothing. This is nothing. We're all losers. I get it, Kevin. You're the king of the losers. But like, imagine this thing where you're waking up texting people that they're giant pieces of shit over the over. And you know what it's about? You know, it's about something to do with numbers or something. And it's his old foggy brain, not even understanding what happened. Like yesterday, literally, I see Uno and Chris Bueller are in our chat, like talking about Kevin's numbers. You know, something is going on with Patreon. If you look on one computer, it says that Kevin has 700 members. You look on another computer, it says it has 850. 
Look at another one. It says he has 870. So something is going on Patreon numbers, but like, who even cares? Who even cares? Like, you're the only one who gives a shit. You really are the only one who gives a shit. Are you poor? Did you grow up poor? Are you worried about being poor again? The, the only reason is just you're a complete narcissist who has to be doing better than everybody else, in which case you can stop because you're not. You know, again, this is like the most loser corner of the internet. Wow, you get a thousand viewers a day. You don't, by the way, you get 600. <laughs> I mean, these are, it's just a loserville. And you're over there pounding your chest worried about being on top of the pile of trash. Who cares? Who cares? And by the way, by any definable metric, you know, who's winning? I don't know, Shuli might actually have 1.4 thousand people watching every day, in which case it's twice what you get. I, I guess I'd, I'd be insane to, I don't know, who cares? You know, it's really getting sad, Kevin. You, you gotta, you gotta, I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> and I look forward to a 1 p.m., you know, 4 p.m. MLC all about Melton being an idiot. It's like, uh, uh, Melton might be an idiot, but I'm happy. Melton might be an idiot, but I don't, you know, I mean, my whole life isn't defined by am I doing better than another loser in this universe? I can't, like, Kevin Brennan makes more money than me. Shuli probably makes more money than me. You know, Stuttering John makes more money than me. I, I, I don't even have a clue. I don't have a clue. Who cares? Again, I wouldn't trade play. Uh, Kevin, you could make 60 grand a month. You can make 100 grand a month on YouTube. It's like I wouldn't switch places in you with you for the world. You're you're like an insane old man. I don't know. Like I I really I I don't know. And by the way, I'm not one of these guys. I'm not bad. I'll see you in AC. I'm not backing down. I'll see you there, stupid. <laughs> you know, I don't you get Kevin, you get Kate Meany and everybody. First of all, your army of idiots is shrinking. You know, six months ago, Stevie Lou and Ski Mask and all these guys would have taken up arms for you. They used to tremble in your presence. Remember how, how bad Stevie Lou wanted to be on your show? Remember how bad Ski Mask used to want to be on your show? Now they don't, you know, they don't get nervous around KP anymore. The mystique is gone. No one's scared of Kevin. <laughs> like it used to really be that way. And I'm not, I'm not talking in the way that Chad goes like, no one's scared of you, Melton, when I've made no threats or tried to act tough in any way. Hit the like button. I just mean in general. Like, like I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you, Kevin. Like, you're out of your mind. And don't get me wrong. I'm not so insecure. I'm not one of these guys. I'm a Kevin Brennan fan, and there's nothing you can do about it. You know, I maybe you're trying to push me away like a toxic relationship. I'm never not being a Kevin Brennan fan. Uh, this is hard for me because everything you're doing right now, I love, you know, as an audience member, you're, you're a complete unhinged nut. You're, you're illogical to a fault. You know, I, I literally am telling you who's talking about you in our discord. Like they're saying your numbers are down and you're like, you're calling up going like, you're saying my numbers are down. And I'm like, no, it's on our discord. People were speculating and you're like, no, you, <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, I mean, what's happened? What's happened? Baby boy. What the fuck? Are you okay? I mean, it's pathetic, Kevin. You're a piece of shit. You're, I'm a pathetic piece of shit. I'm willing to hear you out. I'm not even arguing. Like I probably am a giant pathetic piece of shit. I'd like to hear why. I'd like to hear a reason. And I'd like, you know what I'd really like for you to do? Follow a fucking thread of thought. I know that's tough for you. You literally go to Kevin like uh uh you uh people are, were saying your numbers are down but they're not down. I'm looking at him right now. It seems like your numbers are fine. And then he goes, "It doesn't even matter, you piece of shit. They're up." <laughs> he never stops screaming. I'll show anybody. Anybody who wants to see him, I'll show you'll show nobody. I I'm I'm coming out today and just saying it. Shut up with that shit, liar. You're not going to show your numbers to anyone, you paranoid old fuck. You've been screaming about showing your numbers to people for six months. Show them, idiot. Show them. Shut the fuck up or show them. 
You're literally running around parking lots outside of shopping malls going, I'll show you my numbers. I'm better than you. I'll show you my numbers. Show them, loser, or shut up. We don't believe you anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't even fucking believe you anymore. Show them. You won't show shit. You're like a guy following a girl around a parking garage going like, you want some of this dick? You want some of this dick? She turns around and goes, let's see that dick. And you go, ah, it's not ready right now. It's not big. Right. You were never going to show your dick. Shut up. And then he tries to turn it into a bet. All right. Well, you show the numbers and you make a bet. And then, and then if I'm right, then you'll send me the money in AC. Oh, now it's a bet? What's the bet? That you won't do it? What's the bet? What's the bet, KB? No one said, show me your numbers. I guarantee you mine are better. You just run around going, I'll show anybody my numbers who thinks I'm not doing well. Okay, we don't think you're doing well. Show the numbers. Uh, if you want to make a bet. <laughs> I don't. I don't. You offered, and I'm calling it. Show them. Show them or shut the fuck up. It's six months of you screaming about numbers, and you'll show yours, and you haven't shown shit. Shut up. Shut up, king of the losers. I mean, no one gives a fuck, old man. I agree. I'm a pathetic piece of shit. Follow up. Follow up. You fucking child. Texting people in the morning. You're a piece of shit. Fucking cry. A 63-year-old man. What a bitch. What a bitch. I mean, fuck you. With all due respect, you know, I really do think you're funny and... And we'll keep watching. But fuck you. What a fucking loser. What a fucking loser. Say something and communicate, adult. You geriatric old fuck. You're a real pathetic piece of shit. Any other thoughts? Or are you just having a fucking session? Any other thoughts? You want to follow up with that? I'll show you my numbers if you don't think I... No, you won't. No, you won't. I'm saying it now. No, you won't. Liar. Chest-pounding bitch. Y'all show the number. No, you won't. You know how I know you won't? You say you will. <laughs> you know how I know? Memberships are stupid. A week later, he's doing memberships. Super chats are stupid. A week later, he's doing super chats. Clip shows are dumb. Now it's the hit clip show on the net. The Kevin Brennan show. Anything you say is stupid and you're not going to do, you do. Anything you say you're going to do, you don't do. So you're never going to show the numbers because you never shut up about showing the numbers. You're never going to show the numbers, old man. Shut up or put up a spreadsheet. We're all sick of it. We're all fucking sick of it, <laughs> you know? Don't get me wrong. We'll tune in to watch you scream about it every fucking day, but we are sick of it. I'm going to take a call now from my new friend, Joey C. Hello. <laughs> Quick, you're going to have a heart attack. I'm not going to have a heart attack. I'm having a great morning, Joey. You're going to have a heart attack. No, I'm, I'm not like you. No, no, no. I'm not like you. I'm in a good mood. <laughs> All right. Be careful. I'm just, I've had, I've had enough, you know. Does he text you this mean stuff, Joey? This is mean. You know he's a douchebag, so go on and get him good for me. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Joey. Bye. We'll talk soon. I really, you know, we're trying to work it out with Joey. I, I got to start being nice to Joey. Joey's a nice man, you know. We're really coming around. I just like, enough's enough, you old pathetic fuck. <laughs> like, we all like you. There's nobody who doesn't like Brennan. We all like tuning in to Brennan. We all like watching him yell. We all like it. But it's like, it. it's everything I say. It's the, like, I'm not kidding. When I leave this room, I'm not wishing harm on Joey C., or Heather Gillespie, or Tommy, or Bauer, or Kevin, or Kate Meany. Like, Kate Meany's a person, okay? I really, like, in, in all honesty, you know? As fun as it would be watching her freak flag fry, f fly from the top of the Chrysler building, no one wants Kate Meany hurt. This is a show. You know, I, I seem to be the only one who fucking remembers that when the lights go out. I, I'm the only, I say when I leave here that I don't carry it with me, and I don't. This is nine, ten hours after my last show. I get a text from Kevin, like, you're a pathetic piece of shit. What have you been stewing on all night, you old sack of shit? What have you been fucking upset about? What's wrong, baby boy?
You know, is this really your whole day? Is it your whole day in life? Is it really the same thing? It's this disgruntled, angry man about Shuli's numbers? I want to posit this. What if Kevin sucks? What if, what if this is all this act out? Because it is pathetic and over the top. What if Shuli is killing you? What if Shuli actually has more views? What if, what if, motherfucker... You know, when you're hovering around 700, he's he's around 1.4. I I I, you know, I assume the BS show is on right now, killing me. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Mutual fans will watch one or the other later. You know, it's available. I don't like. It's not. It's what you're doing to yourself. It, it, it's really nuts, Kevin. So get the fuck out of here. Clip shows are dumb. You have a clip show now, you stupid bitch. Super chats are dumb. You do super chats now, and it, your whole income depends on it. And you're obsessed with what other people are making in super chats. Memberships are dumb. That's a scam. How's it going, Kevin? What the fuck? Cheer up. Cheer up. Someone send me Kevin Brennan's address. I'd like to send him a book, uh, an edible arrangement or something. He needs some pineapple. And some chocolate covered strawberries. He needs some some sort of, you know, I'd like to get him some some assorted melons on sticks. I mean, what else could it be? Like, what's going on? Who cares? I mean, it 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 seems plain to me that Kevin Brennan makes more money than everyone in this world. And yet he's the most angry and disgruntled guy. And it's like, why? Why? It's the same as the argument for Stuttering John. People go like, well, he was on this and that and that. You can't say he's not the most successful person in the thing. It's like, I can. I can. I don't know how you guys define success. Uh, success, you know, is like, I guess you could define success as who gets the most money. But that guy could be a grumpy, lonely loser. It's like Kevin has a family. And, uh, and you waking up in the morning texting Melton, you're a pathetic piece of shit? No, duh. No, duh. <laughs> Any other thoughts? I'm, I'm really, I, I don't know what else to think. When children behave like this, the only thing I can think of is like, oh, you must be self-conscious and phony. You know, I'm like, what else is the other, what's the other explanation for it, really? There can be none. Um, wild. Patrick, we've heard you've had a few issues lately with the Catalanos and some girl named Kate Meany. We've heard Joey C has an implant to track him like a wild animal, whilst his prostitute whore wife has been caught again for having carnal knowledge with an undercover policeman. Oh, dear. Yes, Queen. Joey C is driving me fucking crazy, trying to call me all day. Then there's an annoying thin-skinned bitch. Kate Meany. I spiraled Tuesday night and was unhinged talking about that silly, basic bitch. She put me in Spurg mode, and I went off the rails. Spurg I mode. I think I had a mini mini meltdown. I love that. Spurg mode. Yeah, I don't know. Look, I you know, it's so hard. It's so hard liking a guy and then just having it. Like, I, I'm not even kidding. Kevin Brennan might be losing his marbles. Early onset Kevin. I, I, I like, what's the other explanation? You know, like Shuli doesn't seem to give a fuck. And by the way, you leave, you know, Kevin Brennan was leaving his shows up last week. He gave like 7,000 views on him and stuff. I, th I think that he thought, you know, I think Kevin Brennan thought, I'll leave my shows up and let's see what happens with the views. I think Kevin thought he'd leave his shows up and they'd get like 20K and it would blow away like Shuli's, you know, 9K, 10K on his videos. But that, that didn't happen. Kevin Brennan left his shows up and they got like 7,000 views. You know, I think he was trying to show like, watch this. I'll show you how real Shuli's views are. And then they were still more. So it's like still more Fillmore, Elmore. Um, you spent a week trying to get a 24-year-old girl to take her own life. I mean, imagine thinking that. 
You see what, what people assign like uh, intention and stuff? Like people are just retarded. It's like Kevin yesterday. I'm like, yeah, there's a guy on our Discord who's saying your numbers are down. And he calls in and he goes like, you're telling everybody my numbers are down. And I'm like, no, I'm not. There's a guy on our Discord. I name the name who says that they are. We went and looked. They're not. And he's like, you're telling everybody they're down. You're a piece of shit. And it's like, Kevin, you go around telling everybody Shuli buys views. You go around telling everybody Shuli's faking numbers. And you don't have any fucking proof. I mean, I, I'm telling you objectively, looking at it, like, I don't know. I don't know. There's not definitive, like, signs that he's buying numbers. There isn't. As much as you want there to be, you old I know, like, he's so mad because he wants there to be, like, Chris Abel's 100%. Chris Abel's 100%. Here's what we know. Chris Abel's, Bob Levy... They were tangled up in this view buying business. We don't know if any other shows on Shuli Network have bought views, and there's nothing really pointing to to it that they definitively are. There's nothing crazy. There's no outlandish outlier numbers where it's like, uh huh. With with replayables, there was, and I know this, you know, freaks people out. You know, Adam Soundberg is how's that retarded? You spent a week ragging on a girl who's clearly fucked up. Yeah, I ragged on a girl. Now now you're right. Do you hear the difference? You spent a, a week trying to get a girl to kill herself. It's like, no, I didn't. That's your broken brain. That's your broken brain. No one wants this girl to kill herself. And he, first of all, if I spent a week trying to get her to kill herself, she'd be dead twice. <laughs> so you're just dumb. You're all dumb and broken. I don't I don't have, I don't, you know, and I don't spiral out about this stuff because I don't care what idiots say in my chat. I watch losers get things wrong in my chat all day long. I can't imagine stopping. Yeah, I tried to get a girl to kill herself for a week. Correct, Adam Soundboard. You nailed it. What a loser. And what is that? Does that make that guy feel better? Like, yeah, <laughs> I white knighted for Kate Meany because uh, he was trying to get her to kill herself. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I'm trying to get her to fucking uh, go back to school and reevaluate her life and her career. Yeah, and, and, exactly right. Andy thinks it's like one side. You said she should be hanging from the Chrysler building. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Again, this is more indicative of what's going on in your brain. Go back and replay it. You know, everyone's fucking broken. You're dumb. And you assign meaning and tension and rephrase things in your own head. And then you get mad at it. It's probably why you hide behind anonymous names and stuff on the internet. First of all, you said you tried to get a girl to kill herself for a week. Okay. Then you revise that to you made fun of her for a week. Okay. Then you revise it to say you said she should be hanging off the Chrysler building. Nope. Now you're wrong again. Now you're wrong again. No one said she should be hanging from the Chrysler building. We got another guy, beloved chatter, saying he said if she was hanging, he wouldn't care. Didn't even say that. I said it wouldn't surprise me if she took some of her mom's money and went down and bought some of the finest rope money can buy and hung herself from the Chrysler building. I said it wouldn't surprise me. And then idiots and morons run around going like he told her to kill herself. He said he'd be happy if she did. He said he'd revel in the glee and hang under her blood and soak it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. As long as it makes you feel better, I guess, you know, I guess, I guess if it makes you feel better to try to make me into some giant piece of shit that I'm not, I mean, you know, there's plenty of pieces of shit that I am, but that's not the one of them. First of all, the Chrysler building thing came up Tuesday. It was in one show. So that for a week, I was trying to get her to hang herself in the Chrysler building through what? Osmosis? Putting it out, the telekinesis? I was sending it and then just finally mentioned it on Tuesday? Or are you in your feelings and so broken that you, I think you tried to get that girl to kill herself. He's been talking about the Chrysler building for a week. No. <laughs> no, none of that. Okay, you're a genius. I must be an idiot. I mean, see? Beat yourself up for losing, faggot. Beat yourself up some more for being a loser. I'm not going to give you the sympathy. You are an idiot. You are wrong. I am a genius. Sorry. Sorry, I'm very careful with my words. I have a lawyer who screams at me all the time. I didn't tell a girl to go up and kill herself. I didn't say I'd be glad if she did. I'm very careful. 
I said I wouldn't be surprised if she did. And then your dumb brain, I don't know what you do for a living. Sell gummy bears, clean, pressure wash driveways. I don't know what you do for a living, but it's fucking dumb. It's fucking dumb because what you heard is kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself for a week. That's what you heard. That's what you heard because you're weak. Because you're fucking weak. You're like, Kevin, I'm like, Kevin, somebody in our chat says the reason you're grumpy is because your numbers are all down. And then he's like, Mountain's on there telling people my numbers are down. Right, right. That makes it true, I guess. Because a dumb person says, you're fucking out of it. I mean, come on. Is there not enough real stuff, everybody? Is there really not enough real stuff? I say enough real stupid shit. You don't have to make stuff up, Kevin. You don't have to make stuff up, Adam Soundboard. By the way, what do you get out of it if I was treating her like that? I would never sit there and try to get a girl to kill herself for a week. Are you out of your mind? I don't want her to kill herself. I want her to go away. Why are you a guest on 900 Podcasts? I'm a comedian. No, you're not. You're right. I'm not a comedian. Okay, why are you on 900 Podcasts? I think we're done. I think we're done. You know? I mean, you guys just twist every fucking thing. What is, is, baby. So I guess if it helps you sleep to go to bed going like, wow, I can't believe Melton spent a week trying to get that girl to hang herself. Sure, sure. See you tomorrow, you broken idiots who can't stop watching my show whenever it's on. Hi, Kevin. I mean, none of this matters. That's the that's the thing we should all get into our heads. None of this matters. And second of all, you know, you've got it wrong. Not only does it not matter, you are spending time breaking your own brain. Why? What is this obsession everyone has with climbing their way to a new timeline of existence where whatever they think is true? You're, we're obsessed with it. We're obsessed with it. And now we've, we're, we're so sick in the brains, we've convinced ourselves that the, the new timeline, the new reality that we've fabricated is the real one. And if Melton's on a, Melton, you tried to get that girl to kill herself for a week. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Okay. What's it like up there in the clouds, everybody? Well, it's fine. It's, 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 it's getting... I don't know what you get. I don't know what you get, you know, out of it. Yeah, 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 Kevin. Kevin Brennan, your numbers are up or down, and, and you screaming about it isn't changing it. They're up or they're down. They're up or they're down. They're good or they're not. I call Sir Vosef. I don't know if he can help me. Moody's got enough stuff to do. Anyone, I mean, the only way to solve this is, again, to have something analyze every show. Number of chats, number of chatters. How much money is made? How much super chats? Average chat rate. Average super. It's the only way to do it. It's the only way to do it. No, Kevin Brandon wants you to think whoever argues the best makes more money. Whoever argues the best uh, doesn't buy viewers. Whoever argues the best has viewers. Shut up. <laughs> Surely or Kevin gets more viewers. One or the other. That's That's just true. That's just true. I know this. One person is losing their fucking mind about it every day and can't let it go. And the more that goes on, the more I'm inclined to think that Shuli actually has better numbers and Kevin just cannot fucking handle it. Because no matter how much you want to be on Kevin, look, I, I, Kevin's funnier than Shuli. I'm not even going to argue about it. I, I still watch Kevin's show from time to time. I don't watch Shuli. Why? I don't know. Shuli's like a normal person who's lying maliciously. Kevin's an out of it, illogical idiot who no one takes seriously. I don't mind when Kevin calls me a pathetic loser. I don't mind when Kevin says I did something. No one believes Kevin. Kevin's a clown. Like no one, no one takes Kevin seriously. That's why I'm not mad at Kevin. No one takes Shuli seriously, but you know, I'm not going to partner up and work with a guy. And try, I would never partner up and work with Kevin anyway. Cause like Kevin can't focus. You know, imagine trying to put together a show. With Kevin's like, I'm going to go back to stand up. It's like, you're not, you're not. I mean, you, no one can put up with this anymore. No one will put up, no one will put up with it anymore. You're not, you're not go to New York and do some spots. Right, right. Your return to stand up. Book it. 
You laugh at Julie like they're all doing shows. They think they can sell tickets. Book it. Set up the tour for the big comeback for Kevin Brennan. Step daddy, dearest. Please leave the chat. You poor ruining my legacy as the dopest dope head. Leave my baby girl's ghost alone, Melton. Sorry. I'm willing to accept your invite to Vegas. I do have to tone you down because my back implant. My back implant. Scrape that out. I don't want to be tracked. It's just like, you know, set up and sh show us how to sell tickets, Kevin. Show us. I mean, it's easy to do nothing and scream about everyone else. It's easy to try nothing and scream about everyone else. I mean, Kevin, you act like you could sell tickets. Shut up. <laughs> like, no one's selling tickets. Everyone's making money. Everyone's doing super chats. Shut up. You know, what a fucking pathetic sack of shit. I can't listen until later, but I wanted to disrupt whatever you're talking about now. Hit the like button for Kate, Kate's chocolate starfish, Bergs. Yeah, hit the, hit the like button for Kate's chocolate starfish. Does that work? Oh, I've got nothing. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to really update this. I might leave. I might leave. You know, I can't do a show today. I can't do this today. If this is how it's gonna be, I'm. I'm gonna get out of here any second. I. I can't. I can't. I mean, what a fucking pathetic loser! I can't wait to tune in today and watch you scream about nothing, you old fuck. Oh, I fucking love it. I love it. I can't wait to walk up and give you a big hug, Kevin, you sad sack of shit. <laughs> you sad sack of shit. What's wrong? You know, literally, Kevin, I, I'm not even sure. You know, I'm just speculating. Kevin's making like, what, 30 grand a month, 50 grand a month. What are you mad at? <laughs> what are you mad about? You fucking rich sack of shit. You're making way more money than you've ever made and way more money than any of any of these fucking idiots deserve. What are you mad about? Do you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck are we angry about? I don't, I couldn't tell you if I have 500 overdose members or 700 overdose, I don't know. I don't know what it is right now. I couldn't imagine. Who cares? Who cares? Can you pay your bills? Are you doing okay? I mean, I'm not sitting here stacking up money. And, and, and by the way, you know, what if Shuli makes more? The thing is, we don't know about any of this. Kevin goes on and wants to wag his finger and tell you what's going on with Shuli. Shuli does this and Shuli does that and Shuli makes this and Shuli makes that. It's like, and we're all supposed to sit here and go like, wow, that's crazy. I come over here and just speculate. You know, I I'm sorry, Kevin. I'm going to tell it like it is on both fucking sides. I, I, I know you don't like it. And this is why both sides hate me. I don't give a shit. Take your money. Wipe your ass with it. I don't give a shit. What is, is, and I refuse to, to, Leave the base timeline, base reality. I refuse to leave it. Make up whatever you want to sleep better at night. It's not even working. That's the sad part, Kevin. Whatever you're doing to medicate yourself with your own lies and delusions, it's not even working because you wake up in the morning and the first thing you think is, I better text Melton. He's a pathetic piece of shit. I am. N no pushback. No pushback. Um... You know, who cares? I either am or I'm not. It's binary, you know, 50-50. I, I, if Shuli makes more money than you, and if Shuli has more views than you legitimately, you're going to look fucking pathetic. You know, I, that's all I'll say. I know Sh Shuli's like over there doing, um, where's that clip? I was on Shuli's Anonymous or whatever the fuck. You know, Reddit's a wild land. Shuli's Anonymous. Which is the biggest Reddit out of all this whole world, you know. Shuli is Anonymous. More people hate Shuli than anybody. That is a fact. Kevin's right about that. More people have turned on Shuli than uh, Kevin, for sure. But Kevin's funny. Funny carries a long way. People forgive Kevin. Look, I'm the same way. I don't give a shit. I buy Kevin a beer tomorrow. I don't give a fuck. You know, Kevin's out of it.
<laughs> Kevin, Kevin might as well be Ray to me. That's how valued his opinion is to me. So keep losing respect. Keep yelling, old man. Keep being irrational. Keep being, you've already, you know, again, at least you, six months ago, you at least had Ski Mask and Stevie Lou and all these guys. Like, remember they were mad at me for being on MLC. Like, I deserve to be on MLC. They wanted to be on MLC so bad. Send me the link, send me the link, send me the link. Those guys don't even give a fuck anymore. Stevie Lou doesn't give a fuck. His knees don't knock around Kevin Brennan anymore. No, it's been exposed. We've seen the light. You're just a scared old man screaming about nothing. You know, it, it's good. It's what, what do you get out of it? What do you get out of it? Um, Patty fears no one, but Mike Dave. Oh no. Fuck. No. <laughs> Mike David. I just like, no one's ever been afraid of Mike David. I mean, these are, they're all, everyone's just people on the internet yelling. I like, I'll, I'll fucking hell. This is a uh, pink. This is on Shuli's Anonymous. And you're right, it is. And you can't say this. This is bad. And you're right, it is. And you can't say that we're sitting here egging it on. We've done two and Karen shows. That's it. We haven't talked about this guy. We haven't we haven't gone after him. There's no songs about him. Mm -mm. We're just doing our thing. He can't. Is that true? They've done two shows about him. Is that true? Move on. He can't. He can't swallow. <laughs> well, he can, from what I hear, but mm. he can't swallow the fact that people like what we do over here. And I'm sorry, pal. Nobody he needs a hug. He needs Nobody. a hug. Maybe I'll give him one in Atlantic City. So, Bob, Bob I look. I don't. You know, talk to Shuli anymore. I I don't wish harm on Shuli or or Kevin or Bob or anybody for that matter. Bob, Bob, uh, yeah, Bob should come out to um, Atlantic City the Friday night before the Super Bowl, and we'll do a show. We'll do a live show from my room again. Me and Bob, it'll dry. Look, I want to do this now just to make Kevin Brennan lose his mind. Just to make Kevin Brennan lose his mind. And now Mountain Mountain invited Bob to the Borgata. <laughs> yep, I like Bob. I get along with Bob. I don't have a problem with Bob. Look, I don't know Bob that well. I'm sure he'll talk shit and then we'll ruin it. But but I got no problem with Bob. I don't, I, I, all this stuff is sick, man. It really, it really is fucking retarded. Patrick, play that again. Listen carefully to every word Shuli just said. Okay. Did I miss something? Is, and you can't say that we're sitting here egging it on. We've done two and Karen shows. They do egg it on. They do egg it on. Shuli, you egg shit on. You know, you egg shit on. That is, that is, you know, you know, you know. That's it. We haven't talked about this guy. We haven't we haven't gone after him. There's no songs about him. I will. I do. You know, if I turn on, if I do turn on the BS show, they're never talking about Kevin. Kevin's always talking about Shuli. And and Kevin, you know, Kevin. It, look at your own chat. Look at your. I know you're. I know you're only worried about money. He said we're not talking about him. I know. I know. I know. I, I, I agree. That's a lie. Mm -mm. He's doing our thing. He can't move on. He can't he can't swallow. Well, he can from what I hear, but mm -hmm. he can't swallow the fact that people like what we do over here. And I'm sorry, pal. I mean, look, people a lot of people do like what Shuli does. A lot of people like that show. They do have fans. They do have people who make that part of their routine. That is a fact. That is a fact. You know, no one's trying to bring Shuli down. I just don't fuck with Shuli anymore. I don't, you know, if he can't man up, if he can't sack up enough to come to me and, and acknowledge what he did, like he's still playing dumb. So Shuli's a fucking child. You know what you did. Shuli, you know what you did. You know. Imagine you sacking it up, strapping on a, a fucking big boy pant and coming over and going like, that was fucked up. I did kind of try to play you. Sorry I treated you like a fucking idiot. I thought I could do that to you like I do it to everybody else in my sphere, but I realize you're not a whack packer I'm going to handle. No, but he can't. He can't even, like, why is Melton upset? I don't even know. 
Right, right. Okay, Shuli. Okay. <laughs> so, Shuli's a fucking liar. Shuli plays retarded, and Shuli is manipulating people. A hundred percent. So is Kevin. Kevin might not even be doing any of that on, intentionally. Kevin might just be mentally ill, you know. Again, I've never seen a guy in first place who can't stop looking behind him. You know, the lead runner should keep his fucking face forward and run. And nobody's denying it. Nobody's denying it. Kevin's in front. Or he's not. This is my point. Or he's not. People are saying this all is coming from somewhere. Where is it coming from? His numbers must be down. We all saw it yesterday, 660-something people watching MLC. Where is everybody? And let's say for a fucking minute, Shuli is not buying views. Let's say for a minute, Shuli is not buying views. Then you're Kevin Brennan. You're out of your mind insane. So I'd be, I'd be retarded to not investigate this. Maybe Kevin is just upset because he is losing, you know? I, and I'll be the first one to say, I don't know. I don't have a one fucking clue what Shuli makes in Super Chats. I, I don't watch it. I don't track it. I know Replayables doesn't make jack shit if it wasn't for Rick's Wings and Rings. Matter of fact, Rick's Wings and Rings is one of the top tippers over on Replayables and the Shuli Network from what I've seen. And, and I don't even know who's behind that account. Oh, wait, do I? I'm having a brain fart, but no, I'm not even sure. Anyway, the point is, you know, I I know for a fact that uh, replayables wouldn't be getting jack shit. So I don't know, man. I, I Kevin's off his rocker. Kevin's fucking gone. And good luck, you know, yell about me all you want today. I don't give a fucking shit. But you need to be checked, old man. It you really got to get it together. It's you're out of your mind, you know. It's, it's fucking pathetic. It really is pathetic. Go on today. I'm sure it'll be another show screaming about Shuli's numbers and how they buy views and Bob wasn't even, and Shuli couldn't even bring anybody with him from the hack pack. It's like, who gives a fuck? I, like, hold on. Kevin's number one concern is that Shuli left the Howard Stern show and didn't even bring an audience with him. It's like, what the fuck is that your business? Again, anybody who looks into Kevin Brennan, it's like, shut the fuck up. Stop talking about me. Why are you worried about my numbers? It's like, Kevin, Hello. All you do is worry about everyone else. All you do is worry about everyone else. Keep your name out of our mouth. Shut the fuck up. I'll, I'll say your name all day. I'll say your name all day. Get to striking. Get to acting dirty, old man. Get to acting dirty. I don't give a fuck anymore. No one's scared of you over here. I'm not ski mask. I'm not Stevie Lou. I don't hold you in some regarded esteem. You're not an idol up on a fucking pedestal for me to fucking, oh, better not cross Brennan. Fuck you. Get it together. You know, get it together. You got you got a month and a half before the Super Bowl. Get it together. I'm coming, old fuck. I'm coming. So it's going to be awkward or it's going to be normal. But you got to figure it the fuck out. We're all coming. I'm inviting all the onions, too. It's going to be onion town. Get in there, onions. It's cheap hotel rooms. It's cheap hotel rooms. Look into it. Get out there for Atlantic City. Yeah, let's get let's get fucking weird. Let's get awkward. Surely book it. Joe book it. Producer Joe book it. Let's get it going. Let's you everyone's allowed in a casino. Let's make it fucking weird. Kate Meany's gonna be sitting there with her bow legged knock knees trying to figure out what she's worth. Let's go. Won't it be great? I mean, let's get it weird. Let's get weird. I want it to be fucking awful. Nobody needs a hug. He needs Nobody. a hug. Maybe I'll give him one in Atlantic City. I swear to you, Kevin. I really hope Bob does come. He didn't even get a room last time. Um, AP, you don't think Levy getting 150 live viewers makes TSN numbers suspect? Yeah, it does. It does. There's a lot of suspicions. There's a lot of accusations. I get it. But we're trying to figure out if. We're trying to figure out did. You know what I mean? I, I get it. Things look weird. Things could be suspicious. I get it. Replayables, it's definitive. 
It's definitive. And then Chris Abels comes out to make a statement. Uh, 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 it was uh, marketing. It's YouTube marketing, man. And Bob's like, it, that was uncovered. It's it's not even questionable. Shuley came to me privately and said, it looks like Chris Abels is buying numbers. This is disappointing. He's fucking me over, making me look stupid. What do I do? Shuley came to me and said that. So Chris Abels, it's not even, it's not denied. They had 900 and they never have more than 50 now. It's very clear. I've never seen a BS show with 100 people watching, 200 people watching. I've never seen uh, Uncle Rico's show with 200, 300, 400 people watching. So they're buying it for every fucking show consistently. Or look, this is what I was saying to Kevin yesterday. He was screaming at me. He can't even listen to logic. What if it's just that simple? There are people who are that into Stuttering John and they'll watch any kind of content making fun of Stuttering John. They're stuck in that member Barry loop and they can't let it go. It's why when Carl goes live, sometimes they do like, who are these broadcasters? Motherfucker can't get 100 views. He goes live sometimes. Carl's up there sitting with 120 views. Zumok numbers, you know what I mean? And then you go over and watch Carl going live doing an emergency Stuttering John thing. It's 2,400 viewers. Is he buying them or is it just that people care about stuttering John. And by the way, you know, you know, no one's arguing that who are these podcast numbers are fake. They got thousands on their Patreon. They got thousands and thousands of views within an hour of posting a video. They're real fans. Those are real numbers, but people certainly don't want to watch everything Carl does live. And people certainly don't want to watch everything about stuttering John. So it might be more complicated. There might just be more to it than Julie's lying and buying views, you know, But but Ke I would I'd encourage Kevin look at your own fucking chat get your head out of the super jets and look at your own chat and watch how people act <laughs> watch how people treat you they all say you're you're nuts early onset Kevin Kevin's losing his mind it's amazing how dumb Kevin is it's amazing how Kevin doesn't know anything it's amazing that Kevin doesn't know how the world works it's amazing how Kevin doesn't understand anything it's amazing how Kevin doesn't get it it's amazing how Kevin's out of it. Wow, Kevin doesn't know shit. Wow, Kevin's retarded. Read your regular chat, dog. I don't care what they say. They're poor. Okay. <laughs> but that is the sentiment. Check it out. Same with Kate. You know, I think she had a giant wake-up call the other day. We asked, uh, hey, does anybody in the chat think Kevin really cares about Kate? And they're just, nope, nope, no, no, no. He's using her, using her. And then she's sitting there going like, wait a minute. These aren't my real friends. It's like, imagine teaming up with Ray and, and Kevin Brennan, the two most unreliable people who don't give a fuck about you. First of all, Ray, mostly because he can't, you know, if Ray wore diapers, he couldn't change them on his own. He would need help. And, and Kevin just doesn't give a fuck about anybody. And even if he did, I'm not sure he could follow anything along, you know, logically enough to do it. So it's like, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'm a giant sack of shit this morning. He didn't have any follow-ups. I, I texted him back three times. Why am I a pathetic piece of shit? And by, this is 15 hours after he called in last night. Everything was kind of cool from what I understand. He can't listen. He can't listen to reason. He has no idea what's going on. You're saying my numbers are down. No, I'm saying that someone was speculating. Maybe that's why you're so upset. But your Patreon numbers are possibly down. They're not down, liar. It's like, okay, Kevin, I'm not saying they're down. Yeah, you are. Okay. I mean, what are we doing? What are we fucking doing? I Go fucking die. Strap your stupid little helmet on and your baklava and go get some fucking soup. I think you're sick. Get some soup. Take your prep. Have a Janie's cookie. Chill. I mean, you're retarded. I, I'm, I might have to leave. I can't do today. I can't do today with these fucking idiots. Uh, it, it, it's um if i bet kate and, and or mrs c a c l v want my name on the wall a year okay i don't even know i need mr p to take an english class now that you've taken down kate meany how about that pesky kelly carlin who's that ditch this shallow puddle for the day and have a couple egg mcmuffins on me thanks finkelstein Fuck KB, he was a decent middler at best. Uh, go back and watch his sets. He had a few years. I mean, it's just like he's Kevin Brennan's so fucking out of it the other day. He's screaming like the only way to get noticed is TV. TV is where comics go to get known. He's he wasn't talking about in the past. He was currently talking. 
He was like, and he doesn't even, he was, I think he was talking about Dave Smith. He's like, and he's not even on TV, and TV's where you go to get known as a comic. It's like, what a fucking out of it old fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, there's just, you're just old and out of it. No one has TV. No one even has it. Kids don't know what TV is. Netflix? TV, you old fuck. He thinks if you haven't been on Star Search, you ain't shit. Star Search. Kevin Brennan's waiting for Ed McMahon to show up at his door with a check. <laughs> Hello. How about it there? <laughs> Mr. Milton, you've been doing your little tests with all these different time changes and different days. There's one thing that's consistent no matter what time, no matter what day. Once you get somebody in your crosshairs, there is one thing that is consistent no matter what. Are you ready for you got him! You got him! <laughs> you got him! Confirmed! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> what are we doing, Dan G. Patrick? Can you can you do the misery love stats like you did when it was Chad versus MLC? Except do MLC versus Shuli. We got to get, I don't know if Sir Vosef is in the chat, but maybe I leave early today and we try to get that set up. It'll drive Kevin nuts. Oh, and now they're counting how many? Yep. Yep. Can we get it? Work? Can anyone do it? Either that or we need dedicated people. We need dedicated people in Shuli's chat and in, in uh, Kevin's chat to just tally up the numbers and put them in our discord. Maybe we'll do a, di maybe we'll do a live show today, sniping everybody. Maybe I'll do uh Melton loving, mud shark loving misery. Maybe it's time we start sniping cat. Yeah, maybe we just have to, have to manually count it. Maybe we manually count it, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Someone's obsessed. Someone's obsessed. They're fucking, uh, they can't let it go. And it's Kevin. It's Kevin. No one, every time I turn on Shuli, he ain't talking about Kevin. Every time I turn on Kevin, he's talking about Shuli. And the only reason to talk about someone that you think is a loser ad nauseum every day over and over and over again is to get them to hang themselves from the Chrysler. But no, just kidding. You know, I mean, even here, like, it gets repetitive. And we have to, like, go, we can't do that anymore. We got to do this. We got to move around. It's why we have 900 people we move around to. From Heather Gillespie to Planet with a Palette to Michael Ray Bauer to Tommy NC2010 to Joey C to Ray DeVito to Kate Meany to Kevin Brent. You know, it's like you can't because you can't. You know, people are screaming about like, whoa, we need Ray. We haven't had Ray in so long. You haven't covered Ray in so long. People are like, Chad, Chad, we need more Chad. Meanwhile, I cover four days of Chad. Everybody's like, all he does is Chad. It's like you can't win. It's like Adam's soundboard. We all just hear what we want to hear. Yeah, Melton told a girl to climb the tower and kill herself. Yeah, sure. I guess. I I'd ask how empty is your life that you need that to be your truth? What? How much better do you feel making that up about me, motherfucker? It's like Kevin. It's like, is your life so shallow and empty the only wins you can get are the ones you make up in your head? Mountain told people my numbers were down. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. We're entertaining the question. We're, we're, we're going with speculation. We're asking the hard questions and digging into the dirt with our partners at the LNN, with our partners over in Spurg Tope, with our partners over at the Joey C. Catalano Network. No, no, no. Every day you sit and speculate about Shuli and tell everybody what Shuli's up to. If anybody tells you what Brennan's up to, he's got a, you're a piece of shit. Keep my name out of your mouth. No, no. It'll be the new thing I never shut the fuck up about. What a fucking unhinged wreck of a man you are. You fucking sad sack of shit. See you at the poker table. I mean, what a broken idiot. What a broken idiot. I, I don't even, I don't even, I. <laughs> Nobody here cares about your numbers. Nobody here cares about how much you make. We're all focused on doing and our. And if Shuli, you know, Joey C is like, Shuli has, uh, 
She only has 4,500 members. <laughs> First of all. So that's all. You know, I know you think in the grand scheme of things, we're all sitting here planning, how do we ruin him today? You, you're not on the radar, buddy. You're just not. Wow. You're not even on the radar over there at the Shuley verse. Buck naked. Love MLC, but the Shuley obsessed shows are awful. Was Shuley supposed to say no to working for Howard? Do your own show and forget about Shuley KB. Everything's real or real fake. Who cares? Yep. Yep. I don't know. I don't know. KB's a big pussy. Who the hell is he to tell someone to keep? I mean, look, he knows I'm not. And Kevin likes it when people talk about it. I, I don't for one second think that Kevin doesn't enjoy this or love it. He does. He does. But, you know, I will say this. I don't think Kevin has one fucking moment of happiness in his day or his life. That's sad. That's sad. Producer Joe said they had 4,000 members last week. Yeah, so, so Joey C comes on, and Joey C's like, they got 4,500 members. That's $45,000 a month. And it's like, I don't know if that math is right, Joey. Let's not. <laughs> Joey C's like, they got 4,500 members. That's $45,000 a month. It's like, I don't think it is. I think it is. First of all, I mean, it'd be like 22 gross. And, um, you know, after YouTube cut, look, I'm not saying, I'm sure it contributes 15K to his bottom line for sure. But you remember when, like, um, Kevin used to tease, Kevin used to tease um, Bob about their tears. And they still have the tiers of membership. And the crazy thing is, like, they don't even have any shows. You have 4,000 members. You don't even have any shows. By the way, we're down to 1.6 thousand over here. How about getting those gifted memberships popping, huh? Before what's-his-name turns off the gifted memberships and screws me over. Well, that one guy say, like, I'm turning off gifted memberships so you can't ride my free. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah, I... You having gifted memberships on makes me make money. Right, 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 right. The gifted memberships are insane over there. Good for them if it works. Keep it. This is what I'm saying. It's like, I don't begrudge anyone for enjoying it. There are people who watch Michael Ray Bauer unironically and enjoy it, you know? So I, I don't, uh, if you want to watch Shuli and you want to give to Shuli and you want to go over there and give to Shuli, it's fine. Look at this. Jealous of Shuli. Melton is the best Melton. I mean, Imagine watching this today and what you've taken out of what I've said today so far is Melton's really jealous of Shuley. You understand why it's like pointless to try to control anything? Like someone walked away from this morning already and their takeaway is, wow, Melton seems really jealous of Shuley. All I've done is scream at Kevin. <laughs> but the takeaway is Melton's jealous of Shuley. Yeah, I can't. I can't. You're right. You are all correct. Um, I'm the jealousest. Ghost Crusaders TV. What does KB's producer actually do? Just send people the link and bring them up. At least Shuli's show is actually produced. Wow. Uh, Baloney gifting five memberships. Thank you very much. And Ghost Crusaders TV gifting five memberships. Wow. It's a hype train. It's a hype train. I, I, I've got to, we've got to figure it out. We've got to get to the bottom of it. Because look. Every, Kevin's going to never shut up about how, how bad Shuley's doing and how great Kevin's doing. He's never going to shut up about it. And we've proven Kevin doesn't give a fuck about facts. Shuley could have more viewers, more members, and be making more money, and Kevin will still never admit it. So we've just got to find out so that it definitively, like, you know, we're, we're just going to find out. We got to find out. We got to get a bot going or we got to get teams of dedicated people to, to count. <clears throat> so I think I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to leave. I'm going to get out of here. I can't do a show today. I can't do a sh I won't do a show today. And we're all going to prepare. And at 1 PM, we're going to count every fucking dollar MLC makes and every fucking dollar Shuli makes. 
And then we'll do that for uh, a week or two. And then we'll lay out the results. Because shut up, you know? I guess one way to do it, Kevin, would be to just yell every day ad nauseum and perpetuity about how much better you are. Or we could fucking prove it. Or we could find out. What do you what do you get out of like just every day your speculation? By the way, you're not even interested in truth, right? Unless it's backing up what you say. So you're so insecure you have to go live every day and scream about how much better you're doing. But if anyone has any evidence, you go, get out of here. And by the way, you know, it's so pathetic you're protecting the most fucking you congrats to Kevin. You're fucking I woo. Ray DeVito, Chad Zumach, and Kate Meany, enjoy your new stable of losers. Boy, did Ski Mask and Stevie Lou escape that. Enjoy. And then if anyone wants to talk shit about the three losers that you've taken on as children, Kate Meany, Ray DeVito, and Chad Zumach, you know, people write in, isn't Chad Zumach a loser? Isn't Ray DeVito a loser? Kate Meany has small tits. You're like, ah, oh, let's focus on Shuli. All right, I want to talk about Shuli. Don't make fun of Chad. Let's talk about Shuli. Unless you want to make fun of Chad, right? Right? Unless you want to rip Ray down to the studs and make him feel like shit, right? Unless you want to kick Kate Meany off and tell her she's worthless and brings nothing to the show. Right, Kevin? Right? Then it's fine. Otherwise, lay off Ray. All right, we're making fun of Shuli now. Get off Chad. It's like Chad's a bigger loser than Ray. Chad is performing last night in Georgia. He drove... 13 hours round trip, $200 headlining gig. I talked to a friend. I know what he got paid. $200 to drive 13 fucking hours. And that's your co-host that you're protecting and defending? You suck. You suck. Make fun of Bob Levy and Shuli some more. At least they're making $200 driving three hours. You know, your fucking co-host is a loser. You fucking sad sack of shit. Have some consistency. When Chad was on the outs with you, he's the biggest fucking loser sack of shit. No fucking future. No prospects. Pretend comedian. Fake fuck. Now he's your best fucking friend. Good. Protect him. Protect him. And I hope that you, I hope that your stable of losers... Chad, Ray DeVito, and Kate Meany all have your back just as good as you have their back, you fucking idiot. I, 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 something's up. KB's got some bodies. KB's either making no money and he's super poor and self-conscious and lashing out or he's broken. There's only two explanations. One, you're not doing well. Shut up. I'll show anybody the numbers. Except you never will, you fuck. You never will. Show them. Shut your fucking mouth and show them once or shut up. Want to bet? No, no. No one wants to bet. You just can't stop shutting the fuck up about your big dick. Show us that dick. Show us that dick or shut the fuck up. There's not a woman in sight who's seen it. You know, we've not heard a, a peep from your wife about this giant hog of yours. Not once has your kid run by on their new one wheel or with their Game Boy going, Daddy bought me with, with all the money he's making. No, 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 no. You either aren't doing well or you're broken. There's two explanations. You're doing better than everyone and you're so fucked up you can't even enjoy it. Or you're not doing well and things are crashing down. Which is it? Which is it? I, 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 you tell me. You tell me. No, they're losers. And you never shut the fuck up about them. Right. They're doing a show. I, I, I've said this from the beginning. Say whatever you fucking want about Shuli. They're just doing their show. They're doing their whatever. And the people who like it, like it. And they go over there and fucking like it. It may not be me, but they're doing it. And I have a feeling half the people on that screen are like, enough fucking stuttering John. But they keep doing it because what else are they going to do? It's like, what else is Ray going to do? What else is Chad going to do? And what else is Kevin going to do? Melton and Kevy are poor. I'm not, I never pretend to be rich. I never pretend to be rich. Remember, I drive a 15-year-old car. My wife gets banged out by the chicken man. I don't come on telling you I'm better than everybody. I don't come on pretending to do... I'm not doing better than Shuli, I don't think. I'm not, I'm not, I might not be doing better than producer Joe, depending on what he gets paid. I don't know. I don't know. I'm having fun. I pay my bills. You guys are very generous and cool. 
I sound like steel toe. And I don't worry about it. I'm not going to sit here and go like, no, nah, we need 700 more for today. We need more for the that and for the that and for the that. I'm not tallying it. I'm not. The last thing I'm thinking of when I'm watching Kevin or Shuli is like, their numbers aren't good. How many are watching? How much money did they make? It's, it's a fool's game. Also, like, what does it matter? This week you might be making more. Next week he might be making more. I know this. If I was 44 sitting here worrying about other people's money, I'd feel pathetic. If I was 63 sitting around worrying about another man's money, I mean, Ke say whatever you want. I bet Shuli's quality of life is better than Kevin's. First of all, Shuli's not afraid to enjoy a steak. <laughs> Kevin's like, do you have any chicken cordon gay? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so. Say whatever you want. Shuli's got a big house and a big yard. Kevin's stuck in an apartment with a bunch of family he doesn't fucking love. And then, you know, everybody's saying Kevin bought this new house in South Jersey. What's the deal with that? When do you move into there and, you know, <laughs> decompress? Or is that for your wife? Are you getting a divorce? You know, I don't know what rumor to believe. You're telling people I'm getting a divorce? No, these are all speculations. You know, no one... All this gets banned from, from MLC chat, and you would never put it up. But these are just, this is what people are saying. We've noticed the background changes. We've noticed the schedule changes. We've noticed you sitting in your bedroom doing a show alone at 1 a.m. Yeah, maybe you're separated. People are asking questions. Maybe you're getting a divorce. Maybe you bought that house for your family so you could stay in the apartment. Maybe they're going going to stay in the apartment, and you're going to the house so they can finish out school with their friends. I don't know. People are just talking about it. They're not allowed. No one's allowed to guess about my life. <laughs> right, 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 right. Get used to it. I'm the paparazzi, bitch. I'm the sheriff. Chad Zamok and Ray DeVito add zero to an already horrible, boring show of MLC with that tomato head KB leading the boring way. I don't know about that. I like him. Um, Age of Quarrel. Kevin just wants people to like him but doesn't know how to ask for love. Give him time to come out of his shell. Kraut King, Preach King, they're all losers. Zumok is horrendous and flat out boring on MLC. I disagree. I like Chad on MLC. That's where he belongs. Chad should never host a show or be a lead guy again. Chad belongs on MLC uh, in a corner, kept on a leash by Kevin. That's where he belongs. Also, Ray is 50. Steel Onions, Morning Toe. I don't know if these are just some sort of. Mad Lib, we're filling out. Dabbleverse is bad for marriages, says Sketty to John. Linden49, thank you for becoming a member. I mean, I've never seen someone more afraid of what is than Kevin Brennan. Like, holy shit. It's like, I mean, he just, he's, Shuley's beating you or he's not. Like, it, it's that simple, man. Shuley has more viewers or he doesn't. And, what I'm interested in is, like, truth, since everyone seems so concerned with it. I'd like to know what's real. I'd like to know if Shuli's buying numbers just as much as Kevin. For no other reason than the curiosity of it. You know, because if he is, and I told Shuli this, I told producer Joe this before. Like, if you guys are buying numbers, it's pathetic. It's going to look so fucking bad. So don't get me wrong. There's a part of me that wants this whole thing to, like, crash open and we find out Shuli's buying 500, you know, 1,000 viewers a day. It'd be mwah, such a scandal. But the other side of the coin is that he's not. The other side of the coin is that Shuli and Bob get twice as many viewers as you every day, Kevin. And I, I, I feel the uneasiness as I say that, but that is the alternative and that is a possibility. There's a possibility that people would wa rather watch a group of friends having fun, making fun of a guy that they've come to know and love, Stuttering John, versus watching a bitter old man who's alone, <laughs> you know, with his thoughts, just keep going around this racetrack of insane, jealous paranoia. And I say jealous because I just, that's what, I, the only thing I can imagine that's fueling it is like, you think they're doing better, so you have to constantly attack them and say they're not doing better. Because that is the state of delusion most most people are in now. We, we just seem to be at a place where 
No, as long as I say they suck and none of their viewers are real, then then that makes it so. When the truth just may be that they just have more people watching. The production on KB show has really gone downhill with him playing a cell phone to a video. No, he, he really plays clips now. He's a real he's a full fledged clip show. I called it two weeks ago. I said, I said, mark my words, he'll be playing clips like a real clip show soon. How did I know? Because he started attacking it. He started attacking it. You know, ah, Melton with his phone calls. I wish I had phone calls. Melton and his stupid AI chats are gonna save the show. I didn't get AI chats. <laughs> you don't know anything, Kevin. Shut up. <laughs> you're you're open to everything and everything stupid. That's Kevin Brennan. Tomato head, Brennan will never show the numbers he claims are great while I sit in the corner and diddle my earlobes while I fantasize about Stevie Lee's bald head. Bald head. Look, he'll never show the numbers. He'll never show the numbers. You know how I know? He never shuts up about showing you the numbers. And Kevin Brennan will tell you what he'll do and what he won't. If he says something's dumb and it's and, he, and that's a stupid way to do it, he'll be doing it in two weeks. If he tells you he'll do something, he'll never do it. I'll, I'll show you my numbers right now. No, you won't. <laughs> I'll send over my numbers right now. No, you won't. I'll show anybody my numbers. Just let me know. No, you won't. I came on a show as a goof two weeks ago and went, yeah, show us the numbers. All right, you do nothing but tell us you're going to show us the numbers. Show us the numbers. Then you try to worm it into a bet. Okay, you want to bet me that my numbers are down? No. Old man, you keep screaming you're going to show everybody your numbers. Show them or shut up. You're poor. I'm just going to say it. You're poor and you're not doing well. And you're making no money unless you show us the numbers, liar. You're poor. You're making no money and you got to show us the numbers. I think you're broke. I think you have no money and no members. I think nobody watches and they're all fake. I think all your super chats are fake. Your Patreons are fake and you're poor. <laughs> wow. Melton really believes that. No, no, I don't care. <laughs> fake Chad Zumach says, repeat yourself more. Melton, you, you says Chad Zumach, the guy who quit podcasting because somebody was mean to him. Me and Major don't do no podcast no more. Somebody was mean. Somebody was mean. Chad's a fucking pussy too. See you in Atlantic City, fat boy. See you there. See you there, Kate Meany. I know you're all going to show up and make everybody feel awkward. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. I'll be there streaming it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Kate Meany's coming. Chad's coming. I'm booked. Let's go see. Let's get fucking weird. <laughs> uh, Baloney, Kevin screams when you stick it in and cries when you pull it out. Wow, that's a good way to put it. That's a good way to put it. So... Yeah, I think I'm out. I think I'm out. I can't. I can't do a show. We were gonna have a PO box day today. We we I had Heather Gillespie and a Michael Ray Bauer fail video. But I I, I you know I, a you don't deserve it. B I might be back at one p.m. to just count every dollar. That's what you know. That's what I'll do just to annoy Kevin. I won't even do a show. We'll just have MLC on. Everybody watching, and I'm not even going to, you know what? I'm not even going to snipe it. I'm not even going to snipe it. We all watch it on our own, and I'm just going to put a stream up with a dollar. To it's just going to be a blank white screen with a dollar amount. Because at the end of the day, it seems to be all anyone cares about is money. And then and then what, by the way? You know, if, if Kevin makes more than Shuli... What happens? If Shuli makes more than Kevin, what happens? Just say you're hungry. I mean, I'm not I'm not even. I'm not even. And then we got a members only show tonight um that we'll be doing. Listen to my dog, you hear that? Um no, we need Heather. 
Uh, you already did that, Tubbs. I don't even know what that's about. You got you to gotta type full sentences and understand there's a delay, you know, especially the trolls. Yeah, right. You're lying about that, Melton. You, you have to type what that is. No pronouns. Pronouns don't work well in chat-delayed shows. He's a loser. Who's he? <laughs> You're answering something that happened 30 seconds ago. We can't do I I don't even know how to insult myself. Yeah, right, Melton. You already said that. Could be anything. Useless comment. No one knows what you're talking about, but way to waste your own time. You know, in, in an effort to, like, type less, you type something that no one even gets or understands. So, good one. I've been owned. Believe me, I feel the full brunt of that. It really, really hurts and stings. <laughs> uh, Baloney, $50. That's going to get you a square in our match game. Do you want to flip over some squares, Baloney? Pick two. Pick two squares. And we'll uh, let you do it. Happy birthday, Day La. Happy birthday, Day La. Yay. Two squares for baloney um, if he wants to flip them. Every KB show is like watching Groundhog Day. I mean, it isn't. It isn't. Hit the like button if you don't want Patrick to end the show. I mean, it's not even about you. It's just about me. It's just about... Um, Energy, you know? Like, I, I just like <laughs> A4D2. A4. Ban anyone for a week. And D2. Change topic. Thanks for playing, dads. Will this be up on members? I mean, imagine. Just like, uh, uh, like, I I can't. It's the way I felt about Little Mirror and Addicted to Profits and all those losers who try to be a shaman and all these losers. It's like that's how I'm starting to get with like Chad and Kevin now. It's like Kevin, you were the one who saw the light. You were the one who who agreed with me and we're like, no Little Mirror, no Chow, no Addicted to Profits, no. None of these losers trying to be guys. You were on board with me, and now you're turning into it. It's like you've adopted Chad and Ray, and now you can't see any fault in them. You're going to like, oh, no, Chad's great. And anybody who tries to make fun of Chad, even through a super chat, you stick up for him and try to steer the ship in another direction. You don't think your own fans are going to eat your own ass for that? Your fans hate Chad. <laughs> the, the reason you have Chad on is so the super chats can fucking just dunk on Chad. The reason you have Chad on is so you can dunk on Chad. But if now if anybody tries to dunk on Chad, you go, ah, focus on Shuli. Doesn't Shuli suck? Feels forced. Feels fake. You know? And your listeners who you've taught to do that are gonna under, are gonna see it. You don't think the diehard MLC fans are going like, why is he protecting Chad? Why is he white knighting for Kate Meany? These are losers. And you wonder why I won't go on MLC. Yeah, Chad, it's because I'm terrified i'm i'm terrified i couldn't handle the heat yeah 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 yeah. i mean I, again if it helps you sleep better at night the sad part is it doesn't do you think chad sleeps well at night with all the knocking on his window throughout the night if tracking kb's numbers a nice angle would be to equate the amount of super chats per fan i'm certain 85 percent of the money is from 15 percent of the super chatters i think i think the number of super chatters have to be counted I think the average amount of a super chat has to be counted. I think uh, the the chat rate per minute has to be counted. Yeah, and I think the number of individual chatters. You know, it's like Replayables has nine people who don't stop chatting the whole show. Their chat moves fast, but it's literally Dave Dallafor and Rick's Wings and Rings and uh, Stacy Allen, I think, are the three that just keep giving money over there. And it's like, yeah, I mean, it's very easy to see that three people are keeping this show going i don't feel that way with mlc or or even uh the bs show. And again i haven't really paid much attention to surely lately but at least there are multiple people giving but it's a good point it's a good point maybe we do write down every name and see how much they get i mean like because it's the only thing that's going to shut kevin up to prevent him with empirical evidence and you know Go like, hey, 
actually is making more. You are making more. You know, and by, by the way, Kevin's mad at even questioning it. Kevin's upset that I would even run the experiment. And now you're going to see if Shuli gets more than me, you sack of shit. It's like, yeah, is it? Hold on. So you can do a show every day screaming that you make more than Shuli, but if I try to find evidence of that, you, I'm a piece of shit? Right, right, right. Dayla, it's not my birthday. $50. You got to pick some squares. Picking some squares for Dayla. We're picking some squares for Dayla. Brian says numbers don't lie. Right. Hey, Brennan. Uh, or, hey, Melton. Brennan is a success. I just booked a spot on Comics Unleashed with Byron Allen. Right. I know. I know. TV's where you got to be to make it. TV's where you got to be to make it. Right. I know, I know. TV and, uh, you know, it's like Ray DeVito. He's like, I still got a chance to get on. I, I got a chance to get on. Uh, Lynn, what What is Fallon? Jimmy Fallon. It's like, then what, Ray? I, 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 no, I really want to know. Then what? I, I got a comedian friend named John Roy. He's fucking hilarious. He, he, he's a he's a murderer. He's very, very funny. His name's John Roy. He's been on every TV show you can imagine. From, from Letterman to Leno to At Midnight to writing uh, features to writing for TV shows to Half Hour. I mean, he, he just, he, he posted, let, let, me, let me just po read this, not to blow up his spot or anything like that. But I want to give you just a, just a, how it, how much TV matters to everybody. And I don't know if it, nobody knows John Roy. That's not the point. But he's a beast. He's a beast of a comic. Very funny. Just wrote this. My son Griffin starts preschool this year, talks. After two and a half years of stay-at-home dad, I've, I want to start booking stand-up again. I've worked New York Comedy Club, Laughs in Tucson, the Comedy Nest in Montreal, Tacoma Comedy Club. After doing reels for one month, I have a million views. I've done Hot Tub, Peacock, Blind Barber, and Better Half in L.A. After two years out of the business, uh, all my contacts have moved on. Clubs have opened and closed, and the landscape have changed. I, I'm a 20-year headliner. Conan, Tonight Show, At Midnight, Late Late Show, Comedy Central, Last Comic Standing, Semi-Finalist, Star Search, 100K Champion, Gala, at J Just for Laughs, Bridgetown, Lime, uh, Limestone, High Plains, Gilda's Laugh Festival, Audience Favorite, Multiple clubs, including Hollywood Improv, Laugh Factory, Comedy Store, Brad Garrett's House of Comedy, Comedy and Magic, three albums in heavy rotation on Sirius XM, sold pilots to FX, written on specials for Comedy Central and Netflix, Imagine Entertainment, MTV, been a consultant on multi-million dollar national ad campaigns for Super Bowls. I write columns for Vulture called The Great Bits, and I do feature articles for D&D &D and beyond. I've done live play RPG on camera work for Stream of Blood. Audience warm up for the meltdown with Jonah and Kumail. Very funny on TBS and unprotected. He can't get work. He can't get booked anywhere. He can't get booked anywhere. Ray DeVito's holding out hope that it might happen for him. Chad Zumach thinks th he's on a down, he's on a, it's about to turn around. This guy likes to brag. No, it's just a, it's just what is, man. He has all those credits, which are legit credits. He has he has all this and can't get booked to open for a guy. He can't get booked. Chad Chad Zumok's gonna make it. <laughs> Ray Devito's gonna get tapped. Shut the fuck up. You know. It's like enough delusion, everybody. No, but protect Chad if anybody attacks him because that's. All right, what did we pick, Dayla? I'm sorry, I was too busy ranting. Did Dayla pick squares? Let me go back. Any squares from Dayla? A4, E2. A4, E2. At two, Brute? <laughs> A4. E2. Change topic. All right. Well, now there's a... Uh...
If you've been paying attention, you know where something is. That's all I'll say to that. Joseph Hamas. Are you allowed to say that? If TSN makes more than KB, uh, KB will claim it fake super chat. Yeah, which is the other thing. It's like, no, no, no. There's no fake super chats. I mean, look, if, if the super chat shows up in the chat and is pinned to the top, it's a real super chat. I, I To this day, I've yet to catch anybody doing fake super chats. So for all this talk about, no, there's a website that lets you do it. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. There's not a website that lets you inject into the YouTube API a super chat to appear in the, there isn't. Knock it off, everyone. Um, D2, E2. Oh, that, you got to don't. I can't just say that. I can't just say that. But if you're paying attention, you know what's going on. The point is, I don't know why you're mad, Brennan. I thought we were all good last night. We we're all going to go to Atlantic City and hang out. It's got to be, it's got to be uh, real. Sir, oh, Sir Vosef's here. Is there any chance, Sir Vosef, we can get something like this going today? I don't know where you landed with your uh, with your thing, if it works or not. Is there any way we can get a counter today to be counting Brennan's money and counting Shuley's money? He's the guy to talk to. Sir Vosef and uh, Ian Hawk run our Discord, discord.gg slash NLO. Um, I, I really have very little to do with it, and I don't even basically understand it. He says, nope, we can't do it. Nope, we can't do it. Melton, are you jealous because Ray is on Stut Joe? I, I had no idea, but yes, I'm in. If the answer is I am in, I'm crushed. I'm crestfallen and soul stricken about it. It's, uh, I may never recover and my weekend will probably get worse and worse and worse. I thought counting money was gay. Yeah, I, look, counting money is gay, but we need to shake Brennan out of it. So we might as well count it. You know, every day he's like speculating on who makes more. Let's count it and move on. Let's count it and move on. I need volunteers today in our Discord. We got to put something together. Whoever's available, let's get on the voice chat. Let's let's work it out. Let's count. Let's tally every dollar on both. Let's try to keep track of how many super chatters. Let's try to keep track of how much, how many super chats each person does. Let's try to do it. Cause like enough, I'd rather just know. I'd rather know instead of spending another year going like, and they think they're. You think those numbers are real? Let's find out. Let's find out if they're real. You know, like, <laughs> let's find out. I don't. I don't know. Let's find out. You. See, it seems to be a big deal. That's that's the reason I want to do. It. It's not that I care about the number. It seems to be a big deal. Kevin Brennan doesn't seem like he can move on without it. And he has a lot of big ideas. Kevin wants to throw parties. Kevin wants to start doing stand-up again. I want him to, I would love him to start doing stand-up again and show us all how to sell tickets. Show us how, big guy. <sighs> show us how. Set up your show at the M Outs Theater and show us how it's done. Uh, this is just the facts. It, no, no one sells tickets anymore except Taylor Swift. It's just a fact. No one sells tickets anymore. No one gets attention. Dave Smith doesn't sell, sell tickets. He sells way more than you. <laughs> Onion con. Misery con. You know. Uh, Patrick Chad's on X going after you. Oh, no. I wouldn't know because he's blocked me like a bitch. Kate Meany doesn't block me. Kate Meany has unblocked me. Chad's that bitch. So, oh, man, I'd be real upset if he had the balls to say to my face. Chad is the guy who runs in his house, locks his door, and then mumbles shit under his breath. He didn't, Milton couldn't even do this. You knock on his door, he's like, whoo, deadbolt. <laughs> Chad's afraid to see what I say. So imagine Chad giving, like, Chad had 400 people watching uh, Mondays with Mazer yesterday, and he's so cute, bless his heart, he thought it was real. He's like, yeah, we're back up to 400. Chad, you've never had 400 viewers. Chad had 400 viewers when it was Mud Shark Loving Misery, and not since. Nothing that you've ever created, Chad, has gotten 
hundred viewers. Nothing. Johnny Rando says misery con. Wow. What a parasite. I mean, you're so far behind and we can't even help you. This is the thing. Like everyone's operating on their own wavelength and frequency. Imagine like just hearing that and going like, hold on. He's calling it misery con. What's this about? What's this about now? Ah, uh, go back and listen to two shows. You fucking out of it. Loser. We don't have time for you to have a little meltdown in your emotions right now. We've covered this already. It's been announced. It's been announced why. It's been announced why we're doing it. You own a word, Brennan? You own a word? You don't. Misery con. We're doing it now just to, <laughs> just to do it. Whoa, he's calling it misery con? Imagine being that far behind. We'll wait, Rando. We'll wait. Hold on, Chad. Oh, so the people are saying uh, Josh, uh, Chad went off on me and Josh Denny's getting in on it. It's like, imagine two lose. Wow, between the both of them, they have 200,000 Twitter followers. I'm going to be fucking destroyed. If Josh Denny's followers get a hold of that and come after me, fuck. He has 150,000 Twitter followers. He could destroy all of us. Josh Denny is a big, big celebrity. It's like Opie. It's like, you don't want Opie going after you. He's got 145,000 YouTube subscribers. He will bury you. Oh, wait. No one watches Opie. Oh, wait. No one. None of those followers are real that Josh Denny has. It's all fake garbage. Uh, MLC used to be so funny. Now it's truly talk all day. Two to three years ago with Brian, it was belly laughs and fun every day. Good guest. The show is so weak now. I mean, six months ago was fun, right? Chad and Bob, Chad and Bob, bring back Chad and bring back Bob, bring back Chad and bring back Bob, because watching Chad try to do something on his own is depressing as fuck. <laughs> watching Chad try to like build a studio and be a guy is painful. Bring him back to MLC. <laughs> yeah. Josh Denny has been working on a 10 minute set for 15 years. Josh Denny will destroy your Uber passenger rating. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so that doesn't phase me when you guys are like, Josh Denny and Chad Zumacher talking mad shit about you on Twitter right now. It's like, shocker. Shocker. I mean, that's exactly what I would have guessed. Uh, uh, hold on. Do you think they're destroying you on Twitter right now or creating something that gets views? Mm, probably just talking shit. Yep, that would be my guess. That would be my guess. Just probably talking shit. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, Josh, you haven't done a big, big time sports at sports show in over a month. Aren't there 11 people clamoring? You know, it's like, it's like, hey, Chad, you came out and announced you were retooling sit down Zumach and going to do Saturday nights. That was two weeks ago. Any plans to bring that back Monday? You know, all these guys do nothing, but they take to Twitter to tell me how it works. Right, Chad. I'm going to learn how to do YouTube this year, and you guys are buried. Hey, Chad, uh, you still working on learning how to do YouTube? I'm not a nerd. I'm not going to do that. I'm not a nerd. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, same reason I'm not going to become a fighter pilot. No, I can fit in the plane. I can fit, and believe me, believe me, if you don't think I fit in an F-22 Raptor, okay? I, I, I've logged over 2,000 hours in Starscream. No, I just don't want to uh, do it anymore. I, I could have got a perfect score on my SAT, but I don't want to make everybody jealous. Right. It's like like Chad saying, I could quit drinking alcohol if I wanted, but I'm not going to see it in AC, fat boy. <laughs> you know, we'll see in AC. You and Kate Meany, I can't wait. Well, I can't wait. I'm not going to go now. This is stupid. I realized it would cost too much money and it's all out of my way. Uh, right, right. Is Josh Denny going to be there too? Is Josh Denny going to be in Atlantic City? Come on out. And by the way, Josh Denny is a hundred times funnier than Chad Zumach. I, I, I'll never say Josh Denny doesn't crack me up. Man, I, I, I had a lot of fun doing this show with Josh Denny. He's, he's great on the podcast. and He's a good sidekick and host. I'll never, ever, ever say that isn't true, man. I had a lot of fun with Josh. Josh and I were good friends. It's it's bitter 
in a lot of ways, man. Like, I, Josh and I were great. It, it, it was a good show. But, you know, I can't make, you know, he said that I'm a loser and I'm playing podcast and he knows what real success is and went off on his own. And since then, he started nine different podcasts that have failed to get over 30 viewers on anything. Go, go look at his YouTube right now. It's fucking pathetic. <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy's running around. He was trying to, for people who don't know, Josh Denny was running around messaging fans of mine about how I was a loser and a fake and basically trying to, like, get my audience to shift over to him. He was, like, telling audiences, this is 13 years into me, or eight years, nine years into me podcast, and he's like, Melton's just playing podcasts. He's, it's like, I haven't done anything else to make a living for 15 years. How am I playing podcast? You know? This was all, by the way, at a time when Bill Burr would come over and record his podcast in my house. And uh, um, what's his name? Al Madrigal would come over and record his podcast in my house. And everybody from Alonzo Bowden to, to Tom Green, to, you know what I mean? They would all come to my house to record because I had a good studio. But I'm just playing podcasts. Over there at the Big Time Sports City Sports Show, that's where it's all going down. Right, Ch right Josh? Okay. Show us how it all works, Josh Denny. <laughs> Imagine Josh Denny talking shit about anyone. We got Josh Denny with a thousand YouTube subscribers, which I can almost guarantee are fake as fuck. And then what? And then what? Podcast a month ago, 64 views. Four months ago, 122. Six months ago, 135. Ten months ago, 228. Eleven months ago, 218. Oh, we're regressing, Chad. A year ago, 189. Fuck you. There's no telling anybody how it is. You live in an apartment I lived in 13 years ago. It's a depressing, sad little apartment with no windows. And you still live there. You moved in when I moved out. I mean the exact apartment in Burbank. 13 years you've lived in this dark. I lived there one year. I was like, it's too dark. There's no windows. I got to get out of here. Josh Denny was like, perfect for me and my family. Moved in his girlfriend and a roommate. Josh Denny has a two-bed, two-bath apartment with a girlfriend and a roommate. It's 600 square feet. <laughs> Al Madrigal is a fake name, you liar. Right. Ask uh, so thorough Joe Burrow if he's heard of him. Ask so thorough Joe Burr. I'm getting a message from Bob Levy. I have a text from Bob Levy right now. This could be bad. I'm on for Atlantic City to do a show with you that Friday, working on a comedy show at one of the casinos for Saturday night if you want on. I don't. <laughs> um, I'm giving up on stand-up. I can't. You know, if... If Chad Zumok thinks stand up is the future and like that's that's how it's, that's how I know it's a it's a you should get out of it too, Bob. You should get out of it too. You make more money sitting at home just yelling about Kevin Brennan. You hear that, Kevin Brennan? Bob Levy and I show from the Borgata. Live show. He's gonna hate that. He's gonna hate that. <laughs> Oh, and now what? Mel and Bob are going to do a show to what? Stick it to me? Everything's to stick it to Kevin. Imagine imagine receiving every event that happens as if it's some personal, you know, affront to you. <laughs> Look, Bob Levy and I did a good show. Bob Levy and I had fun. We were genuinely laughing. We were cracking up. Flimsy Greenberg, not even a fan of Bob Levy. Flimsy Greenberg was on the bed dying laugh. It was a fun show. We all had fun. Back back then, Flimsy Green. I hate to blow up your spot, Flimsy Graham, Graham Bam. Flimsy Greenberg was like, I didn't really like Bob Levy that much. We were all dying laughing that night. We were having such a good time hanging out. Me, Mario, movie star, bang, bang bus, and, and, and all that stuff. Patrick, you don't come back with a black eye. Patrick, don't you come back with a black eye. Bob Levy at the Brigada, maybe the showboat. Yeah, I don't do, I can't do stand-up. I'm not good enough. That's for Chad and Josh Denny. <laughs> I'm not good enough to do stand-up. Anyway, I, you know. Bob Levy's probably happy just to get the fuck away from stuttering John content. We're going to do a show and we don't, 
We're not going to just talk about Stuttering John all day? That'll be fucking awesome. Although, Stuttering John, you you are welcome to come. You can call me Nanner Puss. Nan- <laughs> Stuttering John, you are welcome. If you want to come out to the Borgata and do a show with Bob Levy and I. If you pay me, I will come. I don't do anything for free. I don't do anything for free. I don't do anything for free. Bob is at the AC Firehouse Saturday night. Melton wants to smoke cigs. Yeah. Ooh. I want to smoke some cigs. Oh. <laughs> Chad's drunk. Oh, is Chad drunk? Go live, Chad. Show everybody you're not afraid. Show everybody you're not scared. You think I'm afraid to go on because of Melton? Just wait till he signs off. I'll go on. Borgata doesn't allow salad dressing. Point, dabble point today at four. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. I want to count. I want to count all the Shuli money today, and I want to count all the Kevin Brennan money today. And maybe we go live and do it. I don't, I'm not going to snipe him, so he can't fucking. We'll, I'll have it on silent. We'll just count. And I'll go live. We'll have a, a, a chat where people are allowed to openly chat. You know, you can't even say things in Kevin Brennan's chat. You'll get banned now. It's like the, all these guys, Brennan's turning into Chad. Just like, you're gone. You're gone. You don't like me. You're gone. My chat's full of losers who don't like me. Here's a little hint. They're viewers. I don't I don't really discern the difference. Uh, a, a guy who can't stop repeating the same thing about me in my chat, you know, Ad nauseum, it, it, for the most part, unless you're like just literally repeating the same thing over and over. It's great. It's great. Melton's a loser. Melton can't do stand up. Melton would never do stand up. Sure. I don't even know if anyone's typing that. That's just my inner monologue. <laughs> Melton's a loser. Melton can't do stand up. Melton wishes he was Josh Denny. Melton wishes he had the stamina of Chad Zumach. Melton wishes he could do what Chad Zuma can do up on that stage. Pretty good. Pretty good. Melton is jealous of Shuley's close friendship with Bob, just like Brennan. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, Brennan. Hold on, what? <laughs> I don't even know how to follow that. Melton's jealous of Shuley's close friendship with Bob, just like Brennan. Oh, Brennan's also jealous of the friendship with Bob. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's like, Bob's always been nice and kind of cool to me, except for that time when you said I didn't stand up for you, getting paid. But you were just kind of piling on with Shuley, Bob. But I've, ne- I've never not said if Bob is owed money by Kevin that Kevin shouldn't pay him. Kevin holding that money and not paying Bob for a month of work, if that's true, we don't even know. I don't, I don't know what's real and what's not. But if that is what happened, yeah, Kevin's a piece of shit and he's to pay Bob. And I've never, ever, ever wavered on that. But we don't know what's true. We all just like to go like, uh, Kevin never paid Bob or Kevin owes Bob. We don't know. We don't know. But I certainly would never go like, Kevin didn't pay Bob? Good. Fuck that guy. Sometimes you don't get the money you wrote. I mean, that would be, I'd be a giant hypocrite. And that's why when Shuli like launched into that about me going after Butch Bradley, like, it's just like, all right, what are we mad at, baby girl? Because, because, you know. If Shuley, Shuley still plays dumb about that. Like, I don't know why Melton's mad at me. It's like, go back and watch. We made a clip video about it over on NLO Clips. Follow NLO Clips on the channel. Hit the like button. <laughs> I just, I, I, Kevin needs drama. And the fact is, like, there's enough natural drama. And, you know, the earth and our subconsciousness and nature and the wind it all vibrates at a certain frequency that we're all made to naturally be at you know and it ebbs and flows there's points of high tension points of low tension and that's what we're made to thrive in as humans like adrenaline up adrenaline down rest you know it's the good and the bad it's the highs and lows kevin brennan thinks he can keep this like manic crazy high energy going all the time and it's like it feels fake where we felt it with shuli and bob back in like july august and we feel it now it feels manufactured what are you mad about 
What what are you mad about? You know, bottom line is Kevin makes more than Shuley. Even if Shuley brings in more money over on the Shuley network, Kevin makes more than Shuley. Kevin doesn't have anybody to pay. You know, and believe me, throwing 100 bucks to Stevie Lou or Chad here and there doesn't really affect Kevin's bottom line. Shuley does have to pay out Bob and does have to pay out Zenhauser and does have to pay out Mike Morse and does have to pay out producer Joe. I don't know what other producers they have over there now. I don't know, you know, how much replayables is getting a check cut for, but it's embarrassing. And Bob, you know, I'm right. You know, I'm right. You, they were buying views for, for replayables. They got busted doing it. And now they're going to pretend like they weren't shut up, Bob, you old bag of bones. <laughs> You know I'm right, Bob. Like, just fucking say it. Just say, yeah, we we're trying to get something going. We we're trying to puff it up. We bought some views. It didn't work out. Turns out it doesn't really do shit. And we bought them. Now, are they doing that for BS show and stuff? I, I don't know. But, like, the more you guys sit there and act dumb about the replayables thing, it's like, you guys seem dumb as, you, you look retarded. Bob, you know I'm right. Kick Shuley to the curb. Come over to the Melton Network. No, but seriously, it's fucking, it's cringe and embarrassing for, for, for Shuley to call me on the phone and be like, Chris, Chris Abels is making me look stupid buying these views. He lied to me. This is fucked up. And then the next day back, you're all on there doing skits. Ah, yeah, we bought views, Melton. Sure we did. I just talked to Shuley. He was all pissed about it. Yeah, fake fucks. I can't. I can't. Melton is still mad that the Bob and Melton show never materialized after Atlantic City. Yeah, I'm very mad. Bob messaged me after that and said, do you want to do a show together? And I was like, not right now. So I'm not mad about it. I'm not. This is still too tense for me. If I come to Atlantic City, I'm not going to not say hi to Bob and hang out with Bob. Bob's been, been nice to me. I don't, I don't know who's my friend. I don't, you know, I don't know if Bob's like got my back or is my friend, but we had a good time and we did a good show and we laughed and laughed. So, you know, if I come to town, I'll say hi to Bob. If Brandon wants to not even be my friend and, like, turn his back to me in Atlantic City and not talk to me, it's like, you're allowed to do that. You're nuts if you think I ain't coming. So, everyone strap in. I'll see ya. I'll see ya. Fucking Kate Neeney. I'm going to come to AC. Yeah, everybody's going to, we're all going to feel weird, Kate. That's crazy. You're going to come make us all squirm. No, 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 no. One of us cries at night. One of us is uncomfortable with our lives and our, and our state of being. And it's not Melton or Brennan or Chad or, well, Kate, me, you think she's going to come and make all the fans feel weird? No, we're going to be looking at all the bumps and cigarette burns on your body. We're going to, we're going to have a new match game where it's like, try to find another bump that looks like the one on our back you know you've got all these crazy fucking literally like it is the boils that form on the gremlins before they kick out a, a fur ball and create another you know but this is what 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 chad and 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 kate meany think it's going to be in chad's mind he has this big entourage and these followers like i'm gonna go into stoney's i'm gonna go into stoney's and film the the steel toe event and they're going to kick me out and it's going to go viral and be awkward as fuck. It's like, you're way too much of a pussy to ever do that. You're too much of a pussy to come to AC. Come Chad, come, come make everybody feel stupid. Come get, come make it awkward. Chad. It's going to be crazy. If you show up, whoa, we're all going to feel so self-conscious. Right, right. Come Chad, come. Invite all the mud shark army with you. Come on out. <laughs> Melton an hour ago. You're all dumb. I don't talk about Kate Meany. Am I talking about Kate Meany? Only because she's like saying she's coming to Atlantic City. I mean, you, I can't mention a person now I'm talking about. You guys are fucking hopeless. Hope the line isn't too long outside of Kate's room. I'm hitting the nerve today. I mean, I'm just reading stuff. Nobody's nobody's hitting any nerves. I'm in a great mood, man. I'm in a great mood. This has fired me up. I feel rejuvenated. I'm new. Come out. It's going to be one of the... I'm inviting you. everyone come. Everyone come to Borgata. Come watch Chad stick to everybody. Come watch Kate Meany make everybody feel crazy with her beauty. Yeah, 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 Kate. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, we're going to have to get out of here. Um, Just I've had enough. I've had enough of you. This really wrecked my day. This really took me off the off the train, off the caboose. And there may be three more shows today. I, I can't tell you. I can't. I can't wait, Kevin. Good luck. Good luck. Kate Meany and Chad will hook up. Can you imagine? I don't think Chad fucks. I don't think Chad fucks. I don't think Chad ever learned to fuck. You know, that's sad. If you think about it, like, Chad didn't have a dad. Chad didn't have a stepdad to really teach him how to fuck. My dad taught me how to fuck. My dad used to come up behind me and take my shoulders and massage them and go down to my hips, you know, like Happy Gilmore, get me really loose. Just get him swaying. And my dad would, you know, teach me gently, softly, methodically how to fuck. You know, and if you don't have a dad to really, really get in there and teach you how, right, Kate? You don't know what you're doing. You just you just start hanging out with men going like, put it in any hole. You know, and that's what happens when you don't have a gay father to teach you how to fuck. Okay. <sighs> Ah! Oh, my God. For someone who doesn't care, you're sure talking a lot about it, Melton. Look, I've got to do time. You know, you get it, Reels. You get it. I know you've been around long enough. You get it. <laughs> do you think I care about everything? I Hold on. Do you think I care about Planet with a Palette? Do you think I care about Marsh? Do you care about everything you talk about? I have a radio show, so I literally have to talk. I, I have to do this. I have to be saying something. I can't just be Chad. can't just put on the, an old episode of the A-Team and sit there and go, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. You see what B.A. Baracus is doing? <laughs> that was a cool van. Yeah, we could, we can't all just do that. So we got to keep it tight, keep it right. Stut Joe is beat, beating uh, NLO right now, and you say it like with incredulity. Like, is Stut Joe really beating NLO right now? I mean, I hope so. He worked for the Tonight Show. This is like I don't have an ego about. I'm a loser. Nobody. I'm a loser. Nobody. It's. I, I mean. Again, Eagle's Nest cameras are beating me. Traffic cams in Des Moines, Iowa are lighting me up. I, I, it, it's embarrassing for Stut Joe to go live and not be beating everyone. Do you understand that? It's embarrassing for Kevin Brennan to beat Stuttering John. It's embarrassing for Shuey to beat Stuttering John. Stuttering John was like a legend on two different programs. <laughs> it's amazing to me that you even ask it that way. Like, wow, is Stuttering John really beating Melton? How is he not? How is he not? <laughs> you know, how is everyone not beating Melton? This is trash. Garbage. <laughs> so, say it the other way around. Like, wow, Stuttering John's barely beating Melton? What the fuck? He should be huge. He's hanging out with Jolino and Howard Stern. Have you been to the new Fountain Blue? Don't try to change the subject on me. I don't go anywhere. I don't leave my house. Ask Joey C. I'm glued to my seat. I can't. I can't anymore. I can't anymore. Hey, Melton, if I join Overdose, can I watch Jingle Bells? Am I, uh, over, everything's on Overdose. Everything is on Overdose. An Overdose light. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm coming for you, Brennan. And we're going to. Melton goes to sex shops and buys black dildo. Never really thought about it like that. 
Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet. Excuse me, miss. Are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. All the laughter that you did. Um, we've got a P.O. Box thing to do. Fifty people tune out with that. We made fifty people leave with that fake out. No, we'll do the PO box and then we'll get out of here. But uh, there'll be some bonus stuff later today. I mean, today is going to be crazy. Kevin Brennan, uh, uh, good luck, man. Good luck. Again, it's like you lash out at everybody who, who tries to help you and love you. You, you know, we we're not. I'm not going anywhere. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Kevin Brennan. I got this from. Uh, I got this from uh, Jake Hudson, if you can believe it. Jake Hudson. The gift. These are uh, these go back to my birthday. So enjoy your gift. Love you, bro. From Jake Hudson, and it's a uh, you know big Amazon box and I go in here and I open it the only thing in it is Concord Grape Crystal Light it's a six pitcher packet box of Concord Grape Crystal Light I don't know what that's for I don't know if he's calling me a black man like an n-word kind of guy it came from Amazon I'm not worried about putting on gloves this is a, uh, this is from Martine. I think this is Michaela. Is this Michaela Martine? Sorry to dox. It's a card. I forgot all about this. It's a beautiful card with a, a butthole blowing a thing. Hi, Patrick. How cool that we get to celebrate your birthday month with you and that we have an opportunity here to thank you for all the gifts. Michaela says no. I don't know why I thought it was her. It's Marty. Sorry, it's Marty from California. Marty? I don't know why I thought that was Michaela. I'm getting mixed up in my own. Sorry to both of you. You're both individual beautiful women and I don't want to. You're a skilled critical thinker with a unique ability to analyze, identify, and expose these podcasters, comedians for who they really are while laughing at them. I love it. I cannot wait for the NLO convention. Maybe we'll call it that. The NLO convention. Where are the lights I never sent you? Well, you're not I don't you're not gonna like see them. <laughs> but don't worry about it. They're gonna be used. Um Again, thank you for sharing your birthday with us. I'm totally looking forward to the birthday show and unveiling of the Earl's penis on the wall. Earl flaked on that. We never, you know, we never heard anything really about that. I hope this birthday is your best one yet. And then Earl wasn't even in the house. This is a $100 Amazon gift card. Very nice. I think I have to cover that up. But a $100 Amazon gift card. What a nice, what a nice sentiment and then this one i'm excited about you know anytime cardiff's kids send something in maybe our most talented artist uh you know i don't even know it's hard to tell because we have the guy who does the comic books too we have some musicians that have sent me some stuff so we have a lot of uh talented people but i haven't even looked at this yet 
I haven't even looked at this yet. This is from Cardiff's Kids. And they always, uh, she always does uh, crazy. I got to, how can I show this? She always decorates the the package so nice, draws on it, art. You know, just wasting. Don't put me on there. There's so many great artists here. Come on now. So I haven't even seen, I don't even know what this is. I have not opened it. I kept all this stuff. It's been like a month uh, to get into this, which is why we just got to do it now. Uh, I started working on this right after the Soak show. I got detoured for a minute by commissions that came up in part to your show. So people are commissioning Cardiff's kids to do some art for them. And I encourage you to do that. I mean, some amazing stuff. I've got a Wawa painting. I've got uh, the, the Nanner put, and, and these are hung around the studio. If you ever, you know, just because they're not on camera. Um, I had to finish before I started getting asked why I was painting a man in a tub. Oh, no. Oh, no. What struck me the most about that particular show is your interaction with the local bee. This is titled Melton and the Bee. My, 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 Melton and the Bee. But as I typed this, I realized I should have gone with Buzzum Buddies. Anyway, another cheers for putting my work in the store. The coolest thing to happen this year. Keep on rocking in the B world. I'm crossing my fingers that I'll be out there for non-con onions on. Michelle Cardiff's kids. Um, wow. I'm scared. And entreat. Oh, no, there's more than one thing in here. Hold on. All right, this one is 8x8, eight eight, Melton and the B. I haven't flipped it over yet to look. I'm I'm only looking in the back. So I, I don't know what this... I have not seen this yet. I have not looked at it. I'm going to turn it up. <laughs> oh, wait. My, 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 Melton and the B. Oh, Wow. The lid to the most of this was easy because it was just the lid to the spa. My, 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 Milton and the bee. Wow. Melton and the bee. Melton and the bee. Um, it's a series inspired by Bonin. Oh, no, there's three. There's three of these in here. I haven't seen any of them. That's the first one. Melton and the bee. Okay. Second, have not looked. This is called Melton and the Bee. Oh, it's a seer. They're all Melton and the Bee. Okay. Hold on. What is this? Crush Whiskey. Kirkland Irish Whiskey. The Bee is helping me. Drink Kirkland Irish whiskey. These are great. These are great. My, 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 Milton and the B. Last one. I thought you said Cardiff was a good artist, said little Emmy. Yeah, these, these are up. All right, Melton and the B. Painting three. He's pouring whiskey into my cup while I blow bubbles. Right? <laughs> my, 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 my Elton and the B. On your the number one son. Melton and the gay, says Douglas W. Very rude. Very mean. Um, wow. Wow. I've never felt more special in my life. If you want to send something to our P.O. box, you can, of course, do that. Nobody likes onions. Care Patrick Melton. 4948 Mountain Vista Street, number 13932, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89121. It's a P.O. box, but you can send uh, UPS and FedEx packages here. If you are going to do that, if you're going to send a UPS or a FedEx package, please give me a heads up on the tracking number and the estimated arrival date. Okay, NLO. 
4948 Mountain Vista Street, number 13932, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89121. Thank you very much for being a part of that. Ain't nothing you can say I haven't said about myself, says Cardiff's Kids. I They're great. They're great. I'm honored. It feels very, very special. Um, Kevin Brennan, I'm coming for you, and we'll see you soon. Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet. Excuse me, miss. Are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. All the laughter that you deploy if you listen to the show, boy. Patrick Melton, Melton faces. Have you stacking that no low point? It's the low point, not the reason. The reason is fucking gold. It'll make the taco pony party be a part of your soul. It'll make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker. So bold the family probably get arrested before they get down the road. A stupid motherfuckers just got N. Alone, other radio shows a straight bitch male prone. Talk shit on the youngins that nobody like. Pass, have my homeboy lame prank call. Him.